Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1985 Detroit Tigers season replay. Today's matchup is between the Detroit Tigers and the Minnesota Twins at the Metrodome. On the mound for the Tigers today is Jeff Robinson, whose record is 9-8 with a 4.14 ERA. And pitching for the Twins is Tom Klobiter, whose record is 3-18 with an 8.75 ERA. Okay, we had one of our craziest games of the season yesterday, maybe the craziest in the second half at least, uh, because David Cohn could not get through the second inning. He couldn't even get an out in the second in inning uh, before we had to pull him out of there. Uh, he went one inning, gave up five runs, uh, a ton of walks, and was just overall um, like ineffective versus a terrible hitting team like the Twins, the only good thing we had going for us is uh, that the opposing pitcher was also pretty terrible. And by keeping uh, the game close, uh, we were able to uh, come back and get the win yesterday. Uh, Dan Schatzader pitched four innings, giving up uh, a run and uh, got the win. And our bullpen only gave up one hit after Schatzi came out of the ball game. So, I mean, we did a decent job. Uh, with the bullpen, and then uh, Willie Wilson had a double and four RBI. So, uh, you know, an overall bizarre performance. There were wild pitches, there were box, pass balls, caught stealings, double plays, errors. I mean, everything that could possibly happen did happen in that ball game. And now I wonder what is in store for us today because we're facing a left-handed pitcher in which we have not been able to beat left-handers. Uh, for quite a while. I mean, I can't remember the last game where we were able to chase a lefty out of the ball game early. And now today we have to face Tom Clowitter, who's a lefty, but who's 3-18 and 18 with an ERA of almost 9. Now, you would think that we would crush a guy like that. Um, I have no idea, because Jeff Robinson's on the mound. He's unpredictable. And because we have four players... In our lineup, uh, normally, that are listed as tired, I'm like, why not use this opportunity to give everyone a break? So Larkin, Tillman, and Kevin Bass will not bat today uh, because they are listed as tired. Willie Wilson is as well, but we're going to let him play today and be our leadoff hitter. Otherwise, we got subs in there at every position uh, that we could come up with. Mike Pagliarulo always has lefty uh, games off. And so Matt Williams will bat versus a left-hander today. Uh, so it's a makeshift lineup versus a terrible pitcher. Will we come out on top? I guess there's only one way to tell, and that is to play the ball game. So let's go ahead and get today's game started. As always, I appreciate everyone following along, like and or subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button for me. That's always a nice thing to do. Uh, certainly, Dan Schatzader will not be available today. After going four innings, he'll have two games in which he's unavailable. But Terry Taylor and Paul Gibson, who were unavailable yesterday, are back available today. You'll see uh, Jeff Robinson there. And then Tom Clowitter is a left-hander, as I mentioned, and there's the lineup, as I showed you previously. I mean, we've got some sad hitters in this lineup that are looking to um, maybe have a breakout ball game. Let's go ahead and do the official lineup rundown for the Tigers. Batting leadoff in center field is Willie Wilson. Batting second at shortstop is Doug Baker. Batting third and dh is Terry Kennedy. Batting cleanup at first base is Marty Castillo. Batting fifth at third base is Matt Williams. Batting sixth in right field is Jim Eisenreich. Batting 7th and catching today is Mike McFarlane. Batting 8th at 2nd base is Sweet Blue Whitaker. And batting ninth in left field is Eddie Milner. Okay, Tom Clowitter having one of the worst seasons of all time. <laughs> I mean, you didn't think he could do worse than 4-21 and last year, but he's doing it. This is his 25th start. He's 3-18 and with an 8.75 ERA. 19 more walks and strikeouts. 61 Ks in 129 and two-third innings. 
Opponents are batting 335 against him. His fastball tops out at 89 miles an hour. Ground ball percentage is 44.5%. He does have a slider that's rated an 80 and a changeup rated 79. So it's not like he's totally inept. Uh, overall rated a 76. The 27-year-old left-hander is arbitration eligible at the end of the year. How would you like to have a year like that in your walk year? Or in your money year, anyway? Let's look at the sad, sad log. Oh, interesting. Look at all these L's in a row. He was 1-17. And then he beat the White Sox, a first-place team. And then Milwaukee, a last-place team, took a loss versus Toronto. And is probably on the verge of having his best start all year. This would be a complete game shutout, I bet. Let's take a look at that defense for the um, uh, Minnesota Twins. Uh, center field's a problem with uh, Murphy in center field today. Alex Cole goes to right field, where he's a 79. First base is Nelson. Third base is Cooper. Behind the plate today is Gil Reyes. Um, Dale Murphy's in center field, not Dwayne Murphy. Okay, I got my Murphys mixed up. I'm like, I thought Dwayne Murphy was a pretty good defensive player. So Dale Murphy's in center field. That's the 72. And uh, Kurt Siebert gets a start uh, at second base today. All right, here we go. Willie Wilson leading it off versus Tom Clawitter. I will sell, settle for nothing short of 20 runs scored today. Willie Wilson popping it up to short. Mike Fishlin will make the play. One out. Here's Doug Baker getting the start at shortstop. Ground ball to second. Siebert making the play. We're going to make Tom Kowitter look like a god on the mound. And Terry Kennedy, a ground ball to short. Absolutely fantastic. All right, we go to the bottom of the first. Here's the Twins lineup for today. Batting leadoff in right field is Alex Cole. Batting second at third base is Gary Cooper. Batting third and DHing is Troy Neal. Batting cleanup and catching is Gil Reyes. Batting fifth in center field is Dale Murphy. Batting sixth at first base is Rob Nelson. Batting seventh at shortstop is Mike Fishlin. Batting 8th in left field is Dwayne Murphy. And batting ninth at 2nd base is Kurt Siebert. Okay, we'll take a look here at Jeff Robinson. Making his 27th start. He's 9-8 with a 4-14 ERA. 85 strikeouts in 156 and 2 third innings with a good game today. Uh, Robinson will qualify for the ERA title. Opponents are betting 266 against him. One complete game shutout. Fastball topping out at 89 miles an hour. Ground ball percentage right around 50%. Splitters at 88. That's very good. And a fastball rated in 83. Overall rated in 87. He's only 23 years old. The right-hander is arbitration eligible after the 87 season. Look at his log. I mean, he has been terrible. He threw the shutout, and then he's went six innings in his next three starts giving up five or six runs, depending. So, I mean, he's been terrible. And uh, this is a team you can get right against. Maybe you'll get lucky. We'll take a look at our defense. Again, we got people out of position and people in uh, uh, different positions here. So we'll take a look at the defense. It's Milner in left, Wilson in center field. But don't forget, he's tired. Eisenreich in right. At third base is Matt Williams, and shortstop is Doug Baker. Whitaker at second. First base is Marty Castillo, making his third start at first. Behind home plate is Mike McFarlane. Okay, here we go. Alex Cole leading it off. 2-2 two -two count. And a base hit. Unbelievable. un freaking believable Will Cole be going... He's got 58 stolen bases. Or is it 59 now? 58. He's got to be going. 1-1. One, one. 
Base hit and an error by Wilson. Nothing we can do about it. Robinson strikes out Neal. Now we will pull the infield in. Gil Reyes, we intentionally walked him yesterday. That got us out of a, a jam. There's a ground ball to short with the infield pulled in. Only play was to first. Runners at second and third. Two down. Here's Dale Murphy. Um, he's got, I mean, he's only got seven at bats in the majors this year. I'm just really. I don't know, there's nothing we could do about it if they're going to score here. 2-1. Two, 2-0. Two, yeah. Well, the Twins scored in the first inning yesterday. We still managed to win. I have no idea. Marty party. Off the wall. Everybody's getting trips. Matt Williams, fly ball to right. That should get the run in. It does. Okay, well, quickly we get on the board. Two to one. One out, here's eyes and right. We don't normally bat him versus lefties. He's batting 189, but uh, somebody's got to play. And McFarland pops it up. We go to the bottom. Oh, oh, no, an error. Oh, my God. This is going to be one of those games. We've had two errors and two triples and a sack fly. Let's see if Whitaker can make him pay. He's only batting 115 versus lefties. And a pop-up. A fly ball to right. All right. Bottom of the second. Mike Fishlin leading off. Robinson pulls the string. Third strikeout for Robinson. Make it four as Murphy strikes out. Dwayne Murphy goes down looking. And Kurt Siebert walks, of course. You can't have a strikeout without a walk. Especially when it's the number nine hitter in the lineup. We'll pull third base in. This is my psych out attempt. First pitch swinging. Oh no. The number nine hitter. So that's another run scored that we won't be able to prevent. He's five for five. This will make it three to one. Ground ball to second. Error? Yeah, okay. Top of the third. Adding him. Walking. We're going to give Milner the green light, but we're not going to, like, put it at stolen base. Wait, a steal per option is 64%? What is the catch? What is... Reyes is an 88, right? Yeah. His fielding's a 58. Um... Uh, no, let's hit and run instead. 0-1 oh, count. And a base hit. That should get Milner to third. No, of course. He's going to stop at second. Because this is baseball mogul after all. Okay, Doug Baker. We'll have him lay down a bunt. Get everybody over. Good bunt. Lots of speed on the base path. And he's out at third! Well, we we lost the ball game. That's that's exactly how the game ends right there. Wilson scores on a single though. I mean that that's the indicator, right? There's a double play. Two catchers running. Oh, there was two catchers running. They can make a play to get the force at third, but they can't turn around the horn double play with two catchers running. 
Oh my god, baseball mogul sucks. What a stupid game, man. We have tied it up, though. All right. Gary Cooper leading off the bottom of the third. Striking out. 5Ks for Robinson. I believe he had the least amount of strikeouts of any pitcher in our rotation. Uh, yet he's doing something about it today. Line drive to the left. That's a base hit. Neal has bad speed. So does Reyes. This feels like a two-run home run. Right, fly ball to right. And Dale Murphy drove in the uh, two runs in the first for the Twins. And the ground ball to short. Okay, making the play. Okay, Robinsons look good. The last two innings. We go to the top of the fourth. Eisenreich with a comebacker. Mike McFarlane. Line drive to center. We're being out hit by the Twins. We do have a lot of left lefties that cannot hit righties. I mean, a lot of lefties that can hit lefties. Whitaker's one of them, but he does get a base hit. Are they giving us a two-out rally? They are not. It's an error on um, the third baseman, Cooper. Here's Willie Wilson, big RBI guy from yesterday. 2-2. Two, two. Line drive to right. Get down. Oh, it's up against the wall. Milner cannot score from first. On a ball to the wall in right field. What? What is the purpose of Milner in this game? He sucks. That's an unearned run. And Doug Baker swinging away. Another error by Cooper. Three errors in what? Three and a half innings of baseball for the Twins. Not helping out Tom Clawitter. 2-0 count to Kennedy. And a pop-up on the infield. I mean, oh, come on! Now this is just stupid! This is dumb! Come on, man! Also, why the hell is Wilson not scoring on that? He should have been running from the get-go. He should have been stepping on the plate when that ball was dropped. <laughs> this is insane! All right. Come on, man. Here's Marty Party. Make a pay, Marty Party. 1-1. One, one. Liner to left. Okay, three consecutive errors. And we still could not score. That's insane. All right, we go to the bottom of the fourth. <laughs> Come on, Robinson. I feel like Robinson's about to get clobbered. Here's Rob Nelson. 0-2. Oh, Strike it out. It's 6K for Robinson. Mike Fishlin. 2-1 count. Fly ball to center. Robinson does seem like he's settled in now. 0-2 oh, to Murph. And a ground ball to short. Error? Oh, wow. Okay, let's look at uh, Gary Cooper for a minute. I mean, is he just that bad? 30 errors at third base. Whoa. <laughs> and yet he's got a positive war and a positive defensive range. But his range is only 61. Like, I could understand that his defensive numbers would be positive if he had a good range and was getting to a lot of balls. And the errors were happening because of just him naturally getting a lot of opportunities. But it doesn't really make any sense that he would have such good numbers. I don't know. Mad Williams leading off the fifth inning with a single. Uh, let's hit and run with Jim Eisenreich. He hasn't done anything today, he's 0 for two. Yep, low and outside, and Williams steals second base. 
his first career stolen base. He had his first career home run in his last start, I believe. Yeah, that's what it was. So he's got a shoe and a shot in back-to-back -back ball games. 2-0 count to Eisenreich. Pulling it to first. That'll get Williams to third. I mean, we'll go on contact, but I have no idea what the hell is going to happen here. One, two. Popping it up. That's exactly what should have happened. And Whitaker. He does have a hit today. Average up to 125. Oh, that might get down. Nope. It'll hold up long enough to be caught. We go to the bottom of the fifth inning. Jeff Robinson at 60 pitches. Now, the fifth inning is usually when Jeff Robinson completely melts down. So we'll keep a we'll keep a close one on him here. Siebert grounds to third. Williams will make the play. We are back to Alex Cole. This is the third time through the lineup. He is one for two today. Full count. Ooh, close call, but that is a walk. Walking the fastest guy on the team. That's always a bad idea, so this is a guaranteed run. Oh, he's thrown out stealing by McFarland. What is McFarland's caught stealing percentage now? He has not made an error. 20%. Not great. But if you can throw out Alex Cole, you can throw out just about anyone. All right. Well, unless something absolutely crazy happens, I mean, this has all been in our favor other than the first inning. Okay, we're going to try to bunt for a hit with Eddie Milner. Popping it up. What a moron. Willie. There's a base hit for Wilson. He's three for four today, and he's tired. And he had four hits yesterday. No, he had three hits yesterday and four RBI. Okay. Um, all right. I mean, we should have ten runs by now with all these errors. Oh, Doug Baker, big ups. Well, Winter put it right in his love zone. A two-run home run, 416 feet. To right center field. That's the third home run of the season for Doug Baker. It's 6-2. to two, And I can breathe a little easier. Terry Kennedy lining out the left field. And Marty Party lining to right. Okay, let's get one more inning out of Robinson here. He seems to be pitching well. It's the heart of the lineup, though. Starting with uh, Troy Neal. Neal, one for two. Little rainbow to right field. Caught by Eisenreich, one out. Gil Reyes, 0 for two today. There's a no one count. That's going to be a double off the wall. Can't keep Reyes down forever. 12th double of the year. All right. Well, Murphy came through the last time they had runners in scoring position. Murphy popping it up here. We have a four-run lead. I would normally consider walking a lefty to get to the light-hitting shortstop, but we do have a little bit of a lead, so let's see what we can do. First pitch swinging. Ground ball to third. Williams makes the play. All right. We go to the top of the seventh. That's going to do it for Clawitter. We got a lousy six runs off of him. Frank Ufemia is coming into the ball game. We just saw him. He gave up three runs on four hits in one inning of work. He's a right-hander. We'll let Williams bat. Base hit to left field. Second hit for Williams today. Jim Eisenreich happy to see a righty on the mound. One, two. Oh, strikes out. He is 
struggling. Runner on first. Mike McFarlane. Oh boy, a tapper back to Euphemia. And a force out at second. Two down. McFarlane on first. Here's Lou. Lou also happy to see a righty, I would think. And a slow roller to second. That'll do it. Okay, 93 pitches for Robinson. Uh, we'll let him start out the inning. Try to give our bullpen a break. Fishland batting 203 versus righties. There's a strikeout. 7K for Robinson. Dwayne Murphy up and a walk. Third walk issued by Robinson. Kurt Siebert. Fly ball to left. 106 pitches. All right. One more batter. This is it. One way or another for Robinson. 3 1. Is out of the game. Nope. Round ball to short. Error! It had to be an error! Oh, no! It had to be! That was the only way to get through the inning for Robinson, and the game forced us to take him out. Maybe that's just what they want to happen. We're not going to screw around. We're going to bring in Jeff Robinson. I mean, uh, Jeff Montgomery. Um, his last outing was good. Last two outings were good. Now, the, what I suspect will happen is there's going to be a walk. Right? Because they, they forced us with the error to take him out. And now we bring in a righty to face a righty. The next thing that should happen is that he gets walked. And then we have the lefty. And then a grand slam to, to tie the game. Nope, 2-2 two -two count. Oh, he strikes him out. Well, it's getting harder to predict to the predict longer the uh, season goes on. But uh, six errors, I mean, come on. Mike Kanunen coming into the ballgame. Noonan, Noonan, Noonan. Uh, he's actually not horrible. More walks than strikeouts, though. And he is a lefty. Eddie Milner walks. Second time today that he's been on base via the walk. Let's see, Willie Wilson with a 1 1. There's a ground ball to second. Cannot turn the double play. Too speedy. Doug Baker, he went deep earlier. Tries to go deep again. Fly ball into right center field. We're going to send Wilson here. 70% chance. He's going right down the middle, and he steals second base, 20th stolen base of the year. So despite not stealing for three months, he still managed to get to 20. He did have 70 last year. Can Terry Kennedy drive him in? He's one for four with an RBI today. One, two. No. All right. Montgomery facing Troy Neal. See, that's what should have happened. It should have been a walk and then the grand slam. That's what I anticipated happening. And then there's the walk. No, Troy Neal is not the Troy Neal of real life, where he had so much power. But he certainly figured it out there. Yeah, this game is over. We, we have lost this game. We're going to take out uh, Jeff Montgomery and bring in Tom Gorman. There's really nothing we're going to be able to do here. Pulls the string. 1-2 to Fishland. Ground ball to third. Double play. No, of course not. And a base hit right now will get them the two runs in. Okay. Well, this is a solo shot by Neil. And that's going to bring in Kurt Wardle. Sounds like a Pokemon character. 
He's good. 22 saves, 26 opportunities. That's pretty solid. Obviously, they're down three runs. And Castillo walks. Interesting. Here's Matt Williams. He's got a couple hits at an RBI. Oh, around the horn. Oh, an infield single for Eisenreich. That figures. Uh, blooper, maybe. Yeah, falls in for McFarlane. First and third, here's Lou. Lou does have a hit today versus Lofty. Full count. Right on the middle. Okay. We're going to bring in our current closer, Todd Fisher. He's six and six with a six saves on the year. That's probably not a good sign. It's definitely not a good sign. All right. I mean, this has been a crazy game. 0-2 to Siebert. Fly ball to right. Eyes in right. And from the touch. Alex Cole. We've kept him under wraps today. He's only been on base twice. Fly ball to right. We are one out away from winning the first two games of the series. Here's Gary Cooper. Fly ball to right. And that'll do it. Tigers win 6-3. to three. Handshakes, butt slaps, sloppy stakes. Tigers kept them in, uh, under control after the first inning. Just a solo home run from Neal. We'll take a look at the standings. Still have not gained a game. I mean, what are we going to do? There's just no way. Uh, take a look at the National League. Montreal has lost double digits in a row now. Philadelphia back to four and a half. Take a look at headline news. Brainiac Baseball. Slagle crafting a four to one win. Has he bounced back this year? Let's look at him real quick. Well, he's 14 and nine now. Still ERA just under five. Look at his log. Well, he's, he's kind of been all over the place. All right, uh, Rick Sutcliffe for the Padres is going to miss three months. All right, well, let's take a look at transactions. We'll look more into that. George Brett on Milwaukee just scored his 1,000th run of his career. He's at 1,001. He only needs 11 more to get to 1,000 RBI. He did get to 2,000 in his hits, uh, albeit in a Brewer uniform. He's betting 325 for them. And he needs seven more doubles for 400 and four more triples for 100 in his career. Hmm. Uh, there's the Rick Sutcliffe injury. So he's done for the year. Padres weren't in it anyway. And another year shortened for Sutcliffe. And then we have a retirement. It's Doug Capilla. Uh, he last pitched in our sim in 83. Actually, pretty good reliever in our sim for the Cubbies. His last year in the majors was 81 in real life. Uh, so good for him. Hanging in there. Getting a little bit more action. Okay, let's go ahead and pull up the box score and get out of here. Uh, man, other than that first inning, Robinson pitched well. He did get his 10th win of the season. Good job by him. I think, man, the player of the game, Willie Wilson had the game-winning RBI, but I'm going to give it to Doug Baker for that two-run home run. Um, still made me paranoid we we're going to lose that game, but at least that gave me a moment to breathe. Willie Wilson and Matt Williams with stolen bases. Error by Doug Baker and Willie Wilson. Wilson does make a lot of errors in the outfield. He's got five out there in center field this year. And he's just flat in range and war, which is not good 
for an outfielder. Uh, Tom Clowitter suffers his 19th loss of the year. Fish Lips and Gary Cooper both made two errors. Troy Neal hit that bomb. All right, that's going to do it. We will be back tomorrow and play game three of the series. Until then, everyone, have a great day.